Love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Iwag Priestess here. And um, this is a impromptu video um, that I was not able to make over the weekend. Um, and um, I'm going to try to get through this video today. Um, I did announce it on my memberships, um, but I'm now announcing it to our spiritual community because that's what I feel that we are. We are a spiritual community. This is not just like a platform that I have. This is not just a YouTube channel. I'm, I'm not just a spiritual advisor, but I feel like we're one family. And um, when something happens to one of us, it happens to all of us. And um, one of our members, um, someone who I met through Kellyanne Maddox, uh, when she had did an interview with me years ago, um, I have met quite a few people actually through that interview that I did with Kellyanne Maddox um, when I was talking about uh, being a, you know, what it is to be an ally to marginalized people. And um, during the uh, George Floyd situations and things of that nature, and just in general, um, I'm someone who has talked about racial inequalities and sexism and just a lot of things. I'm, I'm an activist in my personal life and there's a lot of activism within my spiritual practice. Um, I try to inspire my students and those that I mentor as well. And just you guys watching out there um, to be activist, you know, and um, this person was not just a subscriber that I met through Kelly and Maddox. Um, she became a member and she was a client, a very loyal, faithful client. And outside of being a client, she was also a friend. Um, I consider my subscribers, my members, my clients, family, uh, my spiritual family, my spiritual community. Her wife, um, without getting too much into her medical uh, issues uh, told me that their wife wasn't feeling well and you know I said prayers I talked to my godmother with permission from her of course and we prayed for her um, we prayed for her um, I remember we did a party in my house and I prayed for her she was very sick um, she ended up passing away recently a few days ago and um, her her wife had messaged me, um, you know, via Skype. And I called her and I asked her, um, what can I do? Can I help you raise funds for the funeral? Because I knew that her wife had had longstanding medical conditions. And, um, you know, funerals are expensive. Um, her wife has since um, started a GoFundMe. So I encourage you all, I'm going to link it to this video, donate whatever you can, even if it's a dollar, like every bit counts and matters. This was a fellow subscriber, a fellow member that just inspired me with her life. She was told that she wasn't going to live past the age of 30 and she was here for 44 years. And she was strong and resilient throughout the years, in and out of hospitals. Anna was an inspiration, a writer, a dancer. She, I mentored her. She got into her spirituality and gave her consolation. No matter how sick she was and no matter how hard things were for her, she never stopped smiling. Sorry. I'm sorry. She never stopped smiling. She was an inspiration to all. I always look forward to her comments on my on my channel. She was always complimenting me. She was always uplifting people. She was always engaging with other members. She was just a beautiful soul. And I've had beautiful experiences with her. And I know that wherever she is, she's just going to continue to be a light to the world. 
and an inspiration. And I offer my condolences to her family. She is a loss. But she's also an inspiration. She made it against all odds in her life. We were just blessed to know her. So if you can donate to Ana Mercedes. Funeral cause, which I am going to personally attend. And will be, of course, donating to. I'm going to put her GoFundMe in the description box of this video. We love you, Ana Mercedes. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. And I send my condolences to her wife and her family. She was an amazing spiritual healer and tarot reader, medium spiritualist that had the pleasure of training and mentoring and knowing on a personal level. We love you. I will um, try to make a healing ritual, like not a healing ritual, but like... um. I'm going to light some candles for her, and um, if you guys are inspired to do that, I'm going to tell you how you can do it in a video. If you guys want to just send positive vibes to the family and in that way as well. But I really encourage you guys to donate to the GoFundMe. Any little bit counts. This is a fellow LGBTQIA plus member, you know. Um, it's Pride Month, so, you know, you want to do something for Pride, people. Donate to her funeral. She has such a beautiful, loving wife. She was, their love story was an inspiration. Um, they were together through thick and thin. And they were the epiphany and are the epiphany of true love. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry on camera, but it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will leave the GoFundMe link. Um in the description box of this video. Bye.